Hello everyone, and welcome back to another My Time at Sandrock Guide. Last week we covered farming in Portia, so this week we're going to cover Sandrock. Now keep in mind, this game is still in early access, as you can see in the right corner there. So there is some stuff here that isn't fully up to date. So where to begin? Well, let's start off with how you unlock farming. Simply put, you can't miss it. It's part of the main storyline. You'll have a mission. To meet Zeke up here at the uh, moisture farm, that you'll have to help him repair the moisture farm. And in the process of doing so, you will unlock the basic uh, farming kit. I don't remember what's the exact name for it. And that'll get you the basics of farming. Uh, later on, you'll have another story mission that unlocks an intermediate level one. That's the furthest we know of in the game right now, but as I said, they're still adding content. So we're probably going to get an advanced level one later, as well as maybe more seeds. Now, speaking of seeds, Zeke is also where you mostly buy seeds. You, I think you can buy some down here from Burgess's shop at Waterworld as well. But his is more like water and fertilizer and some of the other stuff you'll need, like straw. Which I will get to in a moment. <clears throat> so, when you get the kit, it'll first be an item in your inventory. You'll have it in your bags here. And you'll use it, and you'll unlock this wheel here that you can use. Like, you can get the camera, you can take pictures, you can get your pets, you can call them, quick save, planting, etc. For PC, you access this by holding down tab. I don't know what it's going to be when we get console versions of the game. And, you know, that the game will teach you how to do it. So, you go to that, you access it, boom. And we have this new menu here. Now... With the basic kit, which is what I have right now, you can do a one by one space. Once you get the intermediate kit, you can do a four by four space. So even bigger than this tree here. But as you can see, we no longer need to build a box. Instead, we have different levels of growth that we can do here. So to create one, you'll see I can scroll my mouse wheel here through all of these. I've got this first one requires some straw from my inventory. And I have to do that to plant down these little squares. So go boom, just like that. And you can see here stats on the left. It starts as sandy soil. It goes through five different levels. Uh, we, we'll look at that a little bit later when we switch over to the wiki. But once you get to the fifth level, you no longer need to use the straw to replant it. But like, if I were to harvest these sweet potato pepper seeds, I would have to redo straw on that same spot to, before I could plant another seed there. It, you have to keep doing the straw on that until you reach level five, which I believe is called Biocrest. Each level is going to retain fertilizer a bit longer. I don't know if it retains water longer as well, or maybe it holds more fertilizer. We'll look at that again. And as you do things, you can see they're, they're regaining quality here. And we're getting out levels. So this is arid soil here. This is level three fertile soil. These are arid soil over here. Fertile soil. And so you can see, I haven't done too much farming with this playthrough here, but it's absolutely a thing you unlock. You can see, okay, how many days it is, how much water and fertilizer that it's holding right now, and so on. Now, you can also see here, Different crops have different sizes. Some of this, you'll have ones that are one by one, some are two by two, and the tree ones are going to be three by three. So, if I wanted to harvest this, oh, can't ready to mature yet. But it does let me say I want to harvest. So let's do a three by three space here to demonstrate what some of the seeds look like. All right. So we have that built. Now we have seeds. And you can see I've got this E selection here. So if I wanted to do like hitters my bio crust, which I don't have any yet, that's when you get your top tier one, you can uh, dig it out and move it. So seeds, I can go through here. I've got sand rice, sand leeks, wheat, rose willow, cactus, tomatoes, mountain rose. Sweet potato peppers. These are all one by ones. The desert mushroom strains. I talked about that during our uh, 
intro guide about how things change. That's one of the seasonal things you can get. And then here we have Jute Cantaloupe Seeds, starts 2x2, two two. Rhino Horns, and then Chestnut Seed is one of your trees. The 3x3s three three are your repeatable crops, the others are uh, single serving crops. Coffee Tree Seeds. Broad Bean Seeds, you can buy from the Serious Salesman, as well as I believe Raspberry Seeds. The others you can buy from Zeke's store over at the Mushroom Farm. So, let's put down a Chestnut Seed. Boom. Now I need to water it. There's your next step. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Notice I've got six water on me. I'm not going to use just one water to water this. I'm going to use all six, and you can see it only filled up so much. So if I want to get this fully watered like I have some of these, it's going to take a lot of water. But then it's going to take several days to go through. Same with fertilizer. I have 187. Let's fertilize that. I'm now at 169. So that used up, uh, what was it, 18 fertilizer? Basically two per square on it to fill the whole thing up. If I wanted to, I could root out the plant or remove the soil. Remove the soil here is really useful once you get biocrust so that you pick it up and move it elsewhere. But hey, I'll say, okay, I want to root out the plant here. Boom. So, okay, you know, it's out of season or something. I don't think there is seasons in this one as much. Remove the soil. Cut that out. Boom. Now, we go to my inventory. You know, I did not get that soil back. I did not get the chestnut seed back. So, rooting those out or should be a last you know, ditch effort. You know, make sure you're plant planting where you need to put it. But, as I said, you have the levels. Each seed gives you a different level of experience for things. You know, each one's going to use a little bit more different levels of fertilizer and water, I believe. Same as with Portia. And now let's switch over to the wiki and take a look at what we do have. As you saw, there's not a huge selection of stuff just yet. But things are definitely developing. So let's switch over. Alright, so here we are on the Sandrock wiki at the farming page. And as you can see, I like, talked about the unlocking the planting mode. It's called the basic planting kit, is what we get from the Grasses Greener quest. You'll know it. You'll see. You'll get called by, to, by Zeke to the moisture farm to help repair it. Once you've completed that whole process, he'll give you the, the recipe. You create the kit. You use it to do stuff that he wants you to do, and so on. Later on, as you can see, there's an intermediate planting kit. This is as far as we know. There is a, there's probably an advanced one in, in the future one, just by the naming. Otherwise, this would have been the advanced. And the advanced one will probably be an even larger space. Like this one does a one by one. This one does four by four. And here's like all of those things I was talking about. Straw grids, biocrust, those are the same thing. Plant seeds, water, fertilizer, and so on. Now, here's what we were talking about with the soil quality. So, um, you get so much experience per thing, and then you have a max fertilizer. So the sandy soil, as we said, two fertilizer per square. So it took 18 to fill that three by three grid. If I had it at biocrust, that would be five per thing. Now, of course, by the time it gets to biocrust, it's gonna have fertilizer already on it, unless you've picked it up and moved it. But the nice thing about biocrust is you no longer need to use straw. Like, as I said, every time you want to plant a new seed, like you harvest the last seed and you want to put down another seed of the same type, you need to put down another straw grid. The concept in game is that the straw helps protect the seeds from like the, the heavy desert winds and from soil erosion and all that. And it's like a, a little cheat way of helping you plant in the desert. And one of the things quest chains in this is to help bring back the your forest land. This is, it used to be a proper oasis, and now it's you know the forest vegetation has kind of gone away, and there's so much conservation going on to try and fight that. And so one of the things you'll be doing through the course of the story of Sandrock is restoring it. So you're going to have a lot more farming related quests throughout this. In fact, you'll have repeatable quests. They're not they're kind of like radiant quests in other games, um, where you'll you'll have. Uh, 
Owen or someone will be like, hey, can you go get me, you know, five things of wheat? You know, so you got to go grow the wheat, and it gives you just enough time to talk, grow and harvest them and so on. Now, fertilizer, just like in Portia, is going to help increase your yield. It's not going to be like higher quality like you would see in something like Stardew. It's just how, how much, you know, you get per seed. Um, and here we go. List of seeds. How much water they use per day, how much fertilizer they use per day, and so on. What what the growth per day is. Yeah, which can even vary per season. So as you can see, the wheat grows, you know, 100 growth points in spring, summer, and fall, but only 66 per day in autumn. How much time it takes to grow? Three days in the main seasons, 4.55 days in uh, winter because it takes 300 total growth points so it gets you and here's what you get you get the wheat you're planting bit seeds etc so just like in horseshoe you have a chance to get seeds back you know and as you can see there's we saw all the seeds that were available there's not a huge selection and we can look through here and see you know you know here's how much experience that the soil gets for it so example to get to level 100 your arid soil if you're doing this first one here the sand rice you're going to need two sand rices you know growths harvests to get it from level one soil to, from air you know to so from sandy soil to arid soil and then fertile soil and then biofrost okay so it's, it's four levels not five levels but that's the process so i've already got some that you saw in there that were fertile soil the level three so if I level those up further with more harvests, eventually I get biofrost, which I can then pick up and move. So that like if I expanded my workshop and I said, hey, I want to have all my farm out on this side now instead of up there at the front where I have it, I can do that. But I can only do it with the biocrust. I can't move the arid or fertile soil. And that is it for what we have right now. Again, this is early access. Um, you can see how much, you know, we're going to get water per day, how much fertilizer per day is needed. Um, and as you saw, we're going to use up a lot of water. You know, the one thing of water, remember, from our uh, tips and tricks guide is worth 10 units of water. So the fact that this is going to be using one water per day for sand rice means that one unit of water that I was hold carrying in my inventory will last for 10 days before it's used up if I'm using sand rice. But if I'm doing sand leaks, it's only going to last for five days and so on. You know, four days for the tomatoes. And as you can see, yeah, some of these are interesting things like the tomatoes grows potatoes and tomatoes so you're getting hybrid plants so they're absolutely doing some fun and interesting things with the farming in this game that they didn't do in portia and i look forward to seeing where they go further in the meantime that is it for today's episode it's not a lot like i said sand rock is still in the works i haven't even gotten to the point where i've unlocked the intermediates in my story playthrough right now so We'll definitely have to come back to this later once it's a fully released game and we have more information. In the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know what you guys want to see next. We're going to start looking at Rune Factory as well. We've got Rune Factory 3 Special coming out in September. And we're going to be, by the time this video is gone live, we'll have done uh, Rune Factory 5 start to the streams. And we're going to alternate between that and Porsche for the next several months. And otherwise, like I said, let me know what you thought. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see more of. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya!